Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Travis Meyer. It has been a busy last 36 hours across the area, and we have to make it through our Friday morning, and then things will start to quiet down, calm down. Uh, we do have travel advisories in effect, though, until this coming morning here on Friday, and that'll be covering still areas from around Tulsa back to the west, and then also down to the south. You might think this is kind of strange. Why is it here? Well, we have a storm system that is literally down along the Red River, and there's really cold air right around that, and so that's kind of a snow jam. Generator. So there's going to be a swath of snow that will come across southeastern Oklahoma, and there could be one to three inches in that. So it'll be interesting to note. So tonight's road conditions continue to be mainly wet through the early morning hours, but unfortunately, we also have some issues showing up as we go through the morning hours. It could be a winter mix, and if you're down along I-40 or to the south, it could be a little bit of light freezing precipitation. Weird to say, but the better chance of rain would be to the north and east, and usually it's flipped. And the reason it isn't is because the warmer, moist air is coming up this way. The colder air is coming in back around the backside. So that's why it's kind of topsy-turvy. And you kind of see that as it spins out the moisture right in here. And so temperatures will be fairly chilly this morning to the south with still milder air. I call it milder. Mid-30s will be. And uh, will be still to the east. We'll be in the low 30s by morning, so it'll be a close call for any additional precipitation, especially on roadways that haven't been treated. That will rapidly clear out, though, and we should end up with some sun in the afternoon and generally upper 40s. It'll be a chilly day, but it won't be a cold day. It'll be warmer than we've been, so we'll look at the bright side of that. And then we should stay relatively cloud free, frosty in the morning as we go on into early Saturday. Saturday afternoon looks good. Temperatures expect to be in the 50s across the area, so very pleasant, not excessively warm, but not cold. I mean, for this time of year, normal high should be about 46, 47. We're going to be doing okay. So I think you'll be happy with that, and Sunday you'll be happy with as well. So our best chances of rain are ending across the area as we go through the morning hours, and that could be still a little bit of a winter mix. That's the only thing that we're concerned about, especially Tulsa South, and that could be just enough that there's a brief heavy sleet uh, downpour of sleep, so to speak. Uh, that would not be a good situation because you get slick road real fast. So that is the only scenario that would play out where we think that it would be really treacherous. So just be careful. Allow yourself extra time. Things will start to improve. We say sunny at noon, but clouds will probably stick around from Tulsa to the east until noon. Then we'll start to become mostly sunny as we go into the afternoon across most of the area. And then we start our warming trend. Awesome. Um, not going to complain. We'll call it the January thaw. Temperatures will be in the 50s to 60s. And so more 50s than 60s, but still not bad. And we have slight chance of showers, quick uh, front coming through this very mild Pacific air, so it's not even cold air. They'll fly through with a few showers early Monday, and another chance of showers on Thursday with the next front. They'll bring us gustier north winds, and that will usher in colder air toward the end of next week. Overall, though, that's not too bad compared to where we've been. Also, don't forget Alan Crone, 6 in the morning. You have the latest with Stephen Nairns, and of course, our storm trackers as they are necessary to make sure you know about the roads. With the latest weather, other updates as well. You can text 6CONNECT to 7964 0.